going to create a Facebook banner using Adobe Spark. It's a free program, easy to use, lots of templates that can easily be manipulated. Start a new project. I'm going to do a post. Let's see here. So I'm just going to take something that already exists and play with that. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a Facebook cover photo for one of my friends has a Facebook page. His name is Randy. This is Randy's Facebook cover on his Facebook page. I'm going to create another one. This has nothing to do with Randy Brecker. I'm going to just going to play with this design, this thing, just to show you. Now, on the you'll notice on the upper right here, design, layout, palette, background, text. Uh, let's get the text first lunar new year no so I'm going to edit this text and I'm going to put in not surprisingly Randy Brecker okay save that more text here I don't want more text I'm just going to get, I'm just going to dump this put something else there so now I just got the text I'm going to put this down here now, if I click on Design, this is going to give me a bunch of other templates that I could continue with if I don't want to continue with this. Up on the right, we have Original Design Filter. Here are several more. Okay, now remember what happens is it's using the existing pictures, using the existing text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump these, these pictures and put my own pictures in there. I'm going to go to Replace, Upload Photo on my desktop, Randy1. Actually, Randy1 I think would be better in the middle there. Let's do that. Let me uh, delete this. I'll put Randy1 here. I lost the picture on the side. I can change that to... Randy one is here. Oh, this program has certain limitations regarding placement and stuff like that, but this seems to look pretty good. I don't like these orange colors. We'll dump that in a second. Here's another place we could put another picture. Let's replace this one. And let me see here. That's one. That's the banner. That's good. I like that. The hat picture. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Okay. So now I have something will turn look interesting but I hate the colors so let's go up to the palette and try some other color combinations we got this this a lot of red here I don't like that red kind of a thing okay that's uh, that's better let's see I don't like the green uh, actually I'm kind of a monochrome kind of a guy Let's, let's do that one and let's uh, now let's go back to the design and we've got our design but let's add these different filters and see what that does and we can always go back to the original if we don't like these okay suggest the design filters okay mm, no How about this one no How about this one no How about this one no. Okay. Oh, interesting. But still, not really doing it for me. Okay, we'll keep going here. Ah, that's not bad. A lot of space at the bottom here, though. I don't like a lot of blank space at the bottom. In fact, oh, that's nice. That's not bad. I don't like the colors, but it's kind of interesting. Let me, um, let's click on palette here. Go back to that monochromatic palette that I liked. Where is that? Down here? No. A lot of palettes here, that's for sure. That's not bad. That's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's play with the text. Let's see what we can do with the text. Click on the text. Several ways to do this. One is to use this circle device here. And as I move around the circle, watch what happens to the text. 
Oh, that's bad. That's that's nice. I like that. That uh, 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 interesting. So this program allows you to make a lot of uh, design changes very very easily, and uh, see it's it's going through more and more here. I gotta go back. There was one I liked. It was I think it was like over here. Is it that one? Yeah, let's go with that one. Um, let's see now layout here. This is interesting. Here's the original layout, which has this picture, the trumpet picture here, and the head here, and then his name. A lot of blank space there. You could save that or could add to it, or I could change the layout of the grid here. What if we went with a? We can always go back to the original. What if, and we can also put a margin in here. Let's do that. Let's see what that does. We can change that, see? Or we can space them a little bit. I'm going to look, keep them on top of each other. Magic layout moves your text. Yes, we want to leave that on. I want to be able to move our text. Okay, so now we're going to do the grid. Here we go. No, that doesn't work. Uh, that doesn't really work. That definitely does not work. No. Hmm. Fair. That's not bad. That's pretty close to our original, right? Yeah. Just clicking on these different options here. Uh, if I do, if I go, oh, if I move him, see, so I can move him down here. But this doesn't pick up the whole thing about the hat. That doesn't work. Could be here. And then we could add something on the right side here. Shall we add a picture here? Let's see. Let's add photo. Upload photo. And we'll go with this guy here. Yeah. Oh. So that's it.